Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avrin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to review the Marhar Invasion, an all-new board to Marhar's line for this year. This board is available in seven sizes, 151, 151 wide, 154, 154 wide, 158, 158 wide, and 161. This board features Marhar's reverse camber profile, which is technically a rocker because it's flat between the feet and then rocker in the tip and the tail. This gives it a surfy, loose feel to it and makes it a little bit more playful. I rode this board at Copper Mountain in the preseason. There was a couple inches of fresh snow. It was a little bit colder. The snow was kind of fast and it was bluebird skies with no wind with my K2 Indy bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. This board comes in with just below a middle of the road park flex to it. So it's not a full blown jib noodle, but it's not something you want to go hit the big line with all the time. You got a lot more play out in the tip and the tail and it progressively stiffens back up through the insert packs with a lot of torsional flex. You can really twist this board. Overall, it's moderately stable. You get into uneven terrain, you might get bucked around, you're gonna feel vibrations if you're charging hard, they're gonna resonate back underfoot. It's one of those boards that's not quite fully damp. It's actually really lively, but it's got stability to a point. The one thing I really liked about this board was the skate style pop to it. It was really easy to engage and just snap whenever you wanted. You didn't have to load it up, you just popped and you were in the air. You could feel that this board has solid snap to it. Now, I'll be honest, it was the preseason. I wasn't gonna wait in line to hit the jump line and see if my knees were gonna hold up. So I just went and hit the only groomed side hit I could find because for some reason Copper decided to build a jump of death out of a side hit. With that said, I would not hesitate to hit jumps with this board in the small to medium-ish range. I think like 30 feet, you're really gonna be pushing it with this board, but anything less than that, it's gonna be perfectly at home. The sweet spot and the tip and the tail of this board is huge. It just locks in with very minimal rebound so you can hold a press for as long as you want. So if you wanna go and butter, get sideways, get weird, play around, lock in and know your dial. And that translates over to how this board's gonna jib. It's very easy to get into a nose or tail press and it slides perfectly when you go sideways through a feature. It's a fun board for jibbing with. That's all I'm gonna say about that. This board transitions from edge to edge smoother than melted butter over popcorn. This is one of those boards that's really at home with those short, tight, quick setup turns but it can handle long drawn out carves as long as you don't drive into the center of the board super aggressively. That's where the limitation comes in on this board. With all that torsional flex, you end up oversteering the board and not getting the carve you would want. You have to know where the limitations are to just drive this thing aggressively. So who's this board for? It's definitely for the guy that wants something more than a jib noodle, but below middle of the road. Someone that's gonna play around on the mountain, butter jib, tap off slow signs, maybe do a couple aggressive carves from time to time. The big thing to note with this board is that it's an amalgamation of the Regent and the half breed. So you got all the jibbiness of the half breed and all the all mountain aspects of the Regent combined into one. And it makes for an okay board. It's not a bad board but it's not a mind-blowing board. It's just a decent snowboard for what it is. Have I ridden better? Yes. Have I ridden worse? Oh, hell yes. It does what you need it to do. It's playful and poppy where you want it, but it's soft and forgiving where you need it. It'd be great for someone just kind of progressing and figuring out the whole freestyle thing of snowboarding. So what boards are comparable to the Invasion by Marhar. Right off the bat, I think of the Rome Blackjack, the Yes Jackpot, the Rosnell Saw Blade, the K2 Worldwide Weapon, the Ride Kink, the Capita Horoscope. This has been my review of the Marhar Invasion. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Have you bought one? Leave me a comment down below. And after you do that, remember to subscribe, hit the bell, that way you're getting notifications on all the great content we've got coming out. And if you'd really like to support us and see bigger projects in the future, 
swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. It's the best way to support all of us over here at Angry Snowboarder for creating the content that you know and love. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.